Okay, y'all. So I was asleep. And then I woke up. And then the Soul Train Awards was on. I didn't forget about the Soul Train Awards. But I was just so tired from work. I instantly fell asleep. Um, so I woke up. And then I was just like, oh my gosh, the Soul Train Award was on, is on. And, and, you know, I missed a few minutes of it. But I caught most of it. Then I rewatched it and stuff and i have to say that this year's soul train awards was awesome most of the time i have to add um most of the time the soul train awards are good you know but this one really just like took it home for me like it it just brought back so many memories and i am a r&b 90s head to the fullest you guys like i love it you know from of course, Mariah Carey, to um, to uh, Tevin Campbell, Brian McKnight, Missy Elliott, uh, uh, DeBrat, um, Lil Kim, uh, to One Twelve, TLC, SWV, Brownstone, Silk, Drew Hill, Zayn, um, uh, Whitney Houston, Janet Jackson, My God. Um, the list goes on and on and on. 90s r and I love, is, is, that's my era. Joe to see what? Um, that's my era. Troop, get your life. Like, it just goes in, on and on and on. But anyway, I just love the Soul Train Awards. And, you know, when you think about it, the Soul Train Awards, the Soul Train Music Awards is a, is a small award show compared, and, and it's a less, um, broadcast award show than the others like of course the grammys which is the ultimate um even it's even less advertised than the bt awards and and the billboard awards american music awards any other country music awards any other award show you know it's it's i mean if you watch that channel if you watch channels that's um catered to black people you might see a commercial for all oh, the social Train awards and get ready to come on etc um, but if you if you're just watching like um, like a news channel seven or um, I don't know channel four NBC ABC whatever any of those channels um, you don't see it so um, it's definitely a limit it's limited to its its core audience but um, and it shouldn't be because good music is good music and if you love good music then you know that's it it shouldn't matter what race you are but um. Of course, soul music it comes from, you know, black people and, and all that good stuff. But anyway, I was just really pleasantly surprised. Well, not surprised, but I, a little surprised. But I was just more so just on cloud nine the whole time I was watching the Soul Train Music Awards. Let's just get into a few highlights for me that I want to talk about. Um, Erica Badu hosted the this year's Soul Train Awards. And she did a really good job, actually. I didn't quite know what was going to go on with Erica Badu on stage the whole time. Um, but I was just going to be a bunch of incense, a bunch of afros, um, some, like, I don't know, some weird cats on the stage. And, and you know, everybody's just chilling, vibing with shades on, weed, I, you know, dashikis. I didn't know what to think. But um, Erica Badu, she was herself, and she turned it. Um, she's actually quite funny. Um, I love Erica Badu, by the way. She's on and on and on and on. My body keeps rolling like a rolling stone. And, of course, call Tyrone. She actually did a skit where this guy came out as Tyrone. He was making jokes, and... Um, People been calling. She was like, people been sick of people calling my phone and this and that, and um, it was just really funny. And she also um, talked about the fact that, um, like a while back, people were saying that when you get with Erica Badu, when a rapper gets with Erica Badu, that she, um, you know, changes them. She makes them become more, more earthy, more of a hipster, and and you know, they just change their music and all that. If you guys know that she um, she has a child by Andre 3000 of Outkast, and she also used to go with Common. And they say after they got with Erica Badu, they were never the same. Um, so, you know, that was funny. And so with that, she banned all hip-hop. And of course she loves hip-hop, but she banned all hip-hop from the show, and it was just going to be straight, strictly about soul, and I absolutely loved it. Um, 
A couple of people who won some awards tonight was Tyrese. Uh, who else won? Uh, Jadena, the classic man guy who's with uh, Janelle Monae. Uh, Jadena, Jadena. Y'all help me out. I think that's his name. Um, and, you know, they was pretty big winners. But uh, honestly, a lot of the Soul Train Awards nominees... Uh, it's really interesting. Like, uh, a lot of times the Soul Train Awards, they nominate people that would never be nominated for an, any other award because they might not be as known. Um, you know, they didn't get quite that hit or whatever that they would have, um, the, the, the hit, their hit, uh, a song for them haven't came about that would possibly be a hit. I'm trying to explain this y'all. They don't have a hit single yet, basically most of them. And so, you know, it's it's just really cool that they give, you know, up and coming artists the chance to be recognized a little bit. And I appreciate that. Speaking of up and coming artists or artists um, that many people might not know about, V. Bozeman, she was on Empire. She's the um, a dark skinned girl. She's bald. Um, she was seen with Tyrese um, at the BT Awards last year. And um, she's just, well, this year, this following year. But she's just um, quite stunning and, and really a great singer. And, you know, they showcase her um, like eccentric, kind of like the artist to watch thing. And so I was just like, yay, I love V. Bozeman. She's really, really stunning and talented. Um, and so getting back to Erica, you know, she did a really good job. It, it was cool. And with her band and hip hop, I was just like, oh, my gosh, yes. Because even though I'm a hip hop fan, what bothers me the most about the BET Awards is that I feel like they only showcase, they showcase more hip hop at the BET Awards than um, singers, actual singers. You feel me with an A, not an I. There's a difference between a singer and a singer, my God. Um, so it was just like, I, I was excited about that because I know the show was getting ready to be good, but I, my God, I didn't expect it, y'all. Like, my words are all twisted right now because I'm just, like, I was shocked. Like, I was in tears at one point. I was just like, this is music. This is soul. This is real music. This is real R&B. Like, and I was just like, we everybody knew every song, of course. It's just, like, classic, classic music. Um, Jasmine Sullivan performed. Jasmine Sullivan. <sighs> we got to get Jasmine Sullivan a stylist, like. ASAP. Uh, it was just a lot of hair. It was just a lot of weight. It was just a lot of dress. It was just a lot. But um, Jasmine Sullivan had the um, number one R&B album uh, with her latest album. So, you know, good for her. I am a Jasmine Sullivan fan. I got her first two album albums. Um, she's uh, quite a talent. She can sing her ass off. And um, her song that she sung... Um, do, 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 do. Call me crazy, but I think I found the love of my life. That's right. Um, that was actually like a remake for the After Seven song. After Seven was a group that Babyface and his brothers, and I think his cousin, was in. And, um, um, you know, the song Ready or Not. And they brought out, um, she brought out Baby After Seven, Babyface brothers and all that. And, and they sung, and it was just quite magical babyface got honored tonight speaking of babyface um for all of his achievements with writing all these amazing songs um and so he really really truly deserved it uh babyface has been making hits since like the 80s and so and i had no idea that he wrote so many hit songs it's crazy pretty much all the r&b songs a good bit of the r&b songs for the 90s babyface probably wrote it and, and that's amazing. That man is coined up. I remember on an episode of Braxton Family Values, um, the sisters was talking and they was talking about doing an album. And um, Tamar was a little weary about working with Babyface, not because he's not amazing, but because he charges so much. And, and, and Tony, you know, obviously have a very close relationship with Babyface. He pretty much discovered her um, along with L.A. Reid. Um, who was in Ideal, a group from way back when, um, like way before After Seven, that Babyface was in and L.A. Reid. And so it was just like, I may, it makes sense to me why he charges so much. Babyface is dope. 
He's a legend. Like he's a, I believe he won. Well, it's kind of like the Lifetime Achievement Award that the BT Awards have. I don't think it was that award or Songwriter Award or whatever. Y'all help me out in the comment section of the award um, that he actually won. But yeah, it was just crazy. Uh, I was just like, wow, wow, wow. One thing that really confused me, though, was um, when uh, during, it was a nominees for Best R&B Song or no, Best Collaboration. And um, who ended up winning was Omarion, Janae, and Chris for their song, Post to Be. And that was actually a very decent category, who, which actually had very good nominees in it, like John Legend and Common for the song Glory and all that good stuff. And it was just um, the fact that Omarion won. I mean, congratulations for loving Hip Hop Hollywood and congrats, congratulations for Omarion. But I was just like, mm, for Post to Be to win off that um off like a song like glory it was just like all right i guess that was like a real bet awards moment for me you know how the rappers win over something or a song that's kind of a little bit more childish in a sense or silly or sexual or whatever win over something real heartfelt and like a ballad or whatever whatever y'all know how they do but overall it was a great great show um r kelly turned it out he did a um a melody of his classic hits. He has all kind of hits. Say what you want about R. Kelly, but the man is the king of R&B, and he is amazing. Let's get to the Babyface um, tribute. Uh, it was just amazing. Um, L.A. Reid presented the award to him, and let's just go down the list of some of the songs that Babyface have written, my God. Um, Babyface has written, I'm not going to cry, he wrote the whole songs. Uh, he wrote the whole album off the um, "Waiting to Exhale" soundtrack, by the way, which I own and I love. So she's just incredible. He wrote um, "Not Gonna Cry," Mary J. Blige, "Breathe Again," Tony Braxton, "You Mean the World to Me," um, another sad love song. All that's from Tony Braxton. Um, "End of the Road," "Boys to Men," "I'll Make Love to You," "Boys to Men," "Can We Talk," Tevin Campbell, my God. Um, "I'm Your Baby Tonight," Nippy Houston, my God. Um, uh, count on me and and um just so many like amazing songs that he's written and and it's just crazy tlc baby 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 like it's just crazy I, I just can't go i can go on and on about babyface like i don't think we realized all of the songs that he's written and been a part of like that's crazy all these hit songs from the 90s he's he's amazing like my god like i would love to get the chance to work with him one day like he's amazing. Um, so um during the tribute, the babyface tribute, we had um Tevin Campbell, he sung Brandy, Fantasia did um Shoop. He also wrote Shoop with Whitney Houston about the, the Waiting to XL soundtrack. Um and Whitney and um I believe Babyface also wrote um Superwoman for um Karen White. Early in the morning, I put breakfast at your table and make sure that your coffee has its sugar and cream. What? And um, baby, um, Boys to Men came out and turned it. Um, did I'll Make Love to You and End of the Road like their biggest hits. Bobby Brown came out and sung. You know, everybody loved Bobby. Bobby! Bobby Brown. It was just really amazing. Also... What Erica Badu did that was um, cool was that you know how on hip on the hip hop awards on BT awards they have the um, the cipher. She did the soul cipher and it included Chrisette Michelle, Eddie Levert of the OJ's, um, Layla Hathaway, and um, Casey and Casey and JoJo and Jodeci. It was just incredible. I saw Tisha Campbell and Tachina Arna, You know Pam and Gina. It was just. This Soul Train Awards was just truly, it was just amazing to watch. And me and my mama just sat here and just got our life. And, I, you know, it just brought me to tears because this is music. This is what I personally grew up on. This is what I personally enjoy, like many of us 80s and 90s babies. So it was just uh, incredible. But anyway, I'm going to go on Mr. Chalaki. See you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, bye. Just wanted to get on here and just express my love for for the music and, and let's just get back to this kind of music people, please.